Sailing into November now with a look at what we saw in October. Now, here's something crazy to think about. In October 2021, here in Grassland, which is this little pocket between Franklin and Brentwood in Williamson County, we had about a third of the amount fewer homes sell in October than what we had in October 2020. We had 42% fewer homes sell last month than the month before. Now this is very seasonally typical. However, seeing a dip this much is not typically what we see going from summer into fall. So an interesting thing to note is we only had 27 homes sell in October 2021. So just last month, as of a few days ago, and we have not had so few homes sell here in Grassland in Williamson County since 2011. So we're talking like for the first time in 10 years, we had just about the same amount of home sell as what we saw in the average of the Great Recession. So just to kind of put it into perspective, what we're seeing now as far as our market squeeze. Now you all know it's different circumstances than what we had in the Great Recession. And because of those different circumstances, we're seeing different results. We're seeing a supply and demand issue. Sellers are not wanting to hit the market as much right now, going back to recession levels. So because there are fewer sellers on the market, we are seeing more buyers, more people needing homes and not enough homes available. That's why we continue to see an increase in our average sales prices. Looking from October 2021 to October 2020, our average sales prices increased by $100,000. Also looking at our days on market, this time last year we had about a 40 day on market average. Now we're looking at 12 days on market. So it's really just been incredible to see this squeeze that we're in right now. If you're feeling like we're in a squeeze, you're right, we are. We, we just don't have enough homes for the amount of people who wanna buy and that's why our prices continue to go up. Can this last forever? No, we all know that. This has been the biggest price increase that we've seen across the country in home values in 30 plus years, possibly for as long as we've been keeping record. But for definitely at least 30 years, we have not seen home prices escalate so high and so quickly in such a short amount of time than we have in more than 30 years. And you know there will be a point where our prices will start to correct and we will see a slowdown of the amount of appreciation compared to what we saw in 2020 and 2021. When will that happen? I don't believe that we will see anything crazy happen for another few years, but we will start seeing after the first of the year interest rates going up, we're already experiencing more inflation, forbearances and uh, the mortgage crisis, um, I wouldn't call it a crisis, but just the forbearances on mortgages may cause some foreclosures that may add more inventory to our market and that may help stabilize some of our prices. Now this is good news. This is good news for buyers and it's good news for sellers. Right now at this period in time, buyers have less competition among other buyers just because people are checked out, it's holiday time, um, there's not, as many people to compete against. However, buyers are still out in full force, so this is good news for sellers. If you wanted to sell your home and maybe change to another home, downsize or upsize, or just get into a different location for any reason, this is a good time because you're still gonna get in on low interest rates, you're still gonna get top pricing for your house, uh, and at the same time, you still got buyer demand and you will have fewer people to compete with when you go to buy your next home. So think about that, simmer on that. Um, if you have any questions about anything in the market, it is changing rapidly. I just did another video like this a week or so ago and it's incredible how much things change in the short amount of days and weeks between my videos and my analyses of our market. Happy to answer any questions, reach out anytime, and click on my blog link to read more details about what's happening in our market.